Hello students, once again welcome in a series of lectures where in unit number 1 structural health, of course structural health monitoring and retrofitting. In earlier lessons we discussed about the structural health, structural health monitoring and different structural health monitoring techniques. In today's lesson we are going to discuss quality control, quality assurance and durability of concrete. So quality control plays important role in a construction which refers a systematic process of ensuring that the work performed meets the specified standards, specified requirements and expectations of the clients. So here the process involves regular inspection during execution, testing of different materials and adherence to the design specification and the implementation of corrective actions to the address any identified issue. So whenever uh, in inspection for the quality control, we take spot rounds of the inspection during the execution and some issues get uh, identified and that should be uh, <coughs> correct within the time. So here the regular inspection required to maintain the quality of that project. Quality assurance in construction is a proactive process designed to ensure that necessary quality standards and procedure are established. So before executing any project there is some uh, protocols, the testing plans, quality plans are there. So on the basis of that the execution is carried out throughout the execution period. So in between that execution period, we made some uh, inspection rounds by experienced uh, staffs or the engineers or quality engineers. So in construction process, the whatever the quality assurance which is proactive process and unlikely the quality control which focuses on identifying the corrective defects in quality assurance aim to prevent that defects. So whatever the in quality control, we identified some uh, issues regarding the quality, but in assurance we aims to prevent that defects by systematically planning and implementing the process that ensures the quality of the outside, quality from the outside. So here are the importance of uh, quality control and quality assurance. The primary goal of QC is to prevent the defects. So Whenever we uh, prevent this defect, restrict the uh, different uh, flaws or bad practices in construction, which ultimately uh, ultimately uh, set some good quality in a construction. So the primary goal of QC is to prevent the defect and ensure that a construction project is completed to a high standard quality ensuring safety, functionality and durability of that structure. So these are some key points of quality control in construction. First point that is planning and standards. So whenever we start any project, we have to plan for the quality of that project. So quality plan, uh, preparation of quality plan. Uh, specification and standards and inspection and testing plan we call as a ITP. So ITP is plays a very important role uh, while uh, execution we test some uh, materials which are <coughs> which were fixed in a specification as per the specification and used in the execution of that project. So ITP uh, inspection and testing plan we required for the uh, inspection rounds, different inspection round and identified the issues regarding the quality. Then inspection and testing. So in inspection, or, uh, inspection and testing, we test some uh, different materials which are uh, used in the uh, construction. Material selection, material testing and storage and handling of material is uh, to be uh, <coughs> inspect during the uh, quality uh, rounds. So here the material whatever we are using in a construction is to be tested or inspect before use, during the use and 
after uh, utilization of that material in the component. So, before use we have to identify the material is as per the quality standard or not. If the material not meets its uh, uh, different property as per the standard, we can reject that lot of the lot whole lot of material. So, some sampling techniques are used for the uh, sampling then testing and after testing we approve that material. So, even every material has its material testing certificate some from uh, different manufacturers also and we have to cross verify by the third party. Third point that is documentation and record. In quality control uh, in construction, documents and record plays a uh, good uh, role because at every uh, every stage we require some reference, we require some uh, lesson learned from the previous uh, projects. So, documentation and record required. So, routine inspection uh, reports uh, we have to maintain, field testing and lab testing reports we have to maintain for the for the reference. Then next point that is non-conformance management. So, here identifying the non-conformance corrective and preventive action is the sub stages of this non-conformance management. Here in non-conformance management we have to find whatever the uh, detected non-conformity we have to rectify within the time that non-conformity we called as NC at a site. So, clearing NC is very difficult task to the uh, different uh, engineers at or executive execution team uh, within the schedule. So, the whatever the quality control department insists to clarify this non-conformity within time and they do not allow to proceed further. Then last point that is continuous improvement. So, there is uh, feedback loop system, then regular audits and some innovation and best practices adopted to maintain the quality in construction. So, these are the key points uh, in quality uh, control in construction. So, <coughs> these components uh, required to maintain the quality, quality control and we can assure the quality of that structure. So, planning and standard, inspection and testing, documentation and record, non-conformance management and continuous improvement required to maintain the quality of that project. The next point that is material quality control. If we consider the two major uh, material here, uh, concrete quality and reinforcement quality. Okay. So, these are we consider these are the main uh, materials which are used in a RCC structure and a steel structures also. So, here in RCC structure the reinforcement uh, whatever the quality of reinforcement and quality of concrete in quality of concrete that is mixed design plays a uh, uh, important role. Here the mixed design is prepared and we get the ingredients the recipe of that concrete on the basis of the uh, strength of that concrete we required as per that uh, property or uh, set target of the design strength, uh, we get the uh, ingredients, the parts of ingredients uh, of that uh, concrete. So, mix design, the variation of different uh, ingredients, then uh, we have to add some admixtures. Uh, to improve the quality of that uh, concrete. So, the quality of concrete is important and it is basically based on the what we are designed its mix. So, if the mix is correct then the quality is uh, ultimately maintained. So, sampling and testing required for the whatever the weak mix we design. So, these are some uh, uh, cube testings and all concrete testing as per the uh, IS code. So, we get the idea about that what exactly the quality of that concrete. The next is reinforcement quality, the steel grades and specification 
uh, are uh, tested before uh, whatever the uh, utilization of that uh, material. So, here the steel grade and specification tested as per the highest code, we uh, test the material for the uh, tensile strength, <coughs> then uh, bend rebend test and the rolling margins also. So, we, uh, uh, we maintain uh, this reinforcement quality and we restrict uh, we, uh, we restrict that material from the corrosion. So, we kept this material away from the what is the uh, different liquids or uh, uh, we uh, avoid to store in uh, away from the water. So, <coughs> that will not be corrode and we get the good quality of that reinforcement. The next point that is durability of concrete. So, different factors which influence the durability of concrete that is environmental exposure, chemical attack, then freeze and thaw uh, cycles, then this whatever the picture shows the rusting of the reinforcement, the chemical attack of the uh, on the reinforcement, reinforcement get corroded and spalling is uh, uh, happens at that uh, component. Uh, and ultimately, uh, it leads to the deterioration of that component. So, to enhance the durability, we use some admixtures and protect these uh, issues, uh, protect the material from these issues. So, proper curing practice is also uh, uh, required. And if we need the durable concrete, we have to <coughs> plan for some corrective maintenance. So, addressing detected issues promptly time to time with the help of structural health monitoring and we can uh, maintain the durability of the concrete. So, structure safety in alteration. So, alteration is another issue we construct the building uh, and after some times we have to alter some components. So, in that we have to assess the existing structure we made uh, different rounds of the structural audits, we uh, maintained that reports, we studied this uh, structural audit reports, the load capacity evaluation and after that we go for the alteration if needed. If the audit reports and the load uh, capacity evaluation uh, says uh, that <coughs> the alteration is uh, not possible, then we uh, cancel that plan for the alteration purpose. If we go for the alteration, the design consideration uh, of for alteration requires the com uh, compatibility of with the existing structure. So, we consider some safety margins. So, without any collapse or without any flaws, we have to uh, <coughs> we have to use or we have to <coughs> maintain that structure throughout its lifespan. So, the structure safety uh, in alteration uh, is the point we have to consider while any alteration practice. So, these are the some example of long lasting structures. So, in uh, ancient uh, structures in Italy, then we consider in case of uh, India, the Taj Mahal and Gateway of India is the uh, two structures uh, are the example of long lasting structures. So, these are the structure we ultimately called as a durable structures. Okay. So, we have to maintain the quality like this. So, ancient uh, mo monuments uh, have survived for the thousands of years while the modern building seems to be crumble with and decayed within the decades only because of the bad practice, the durability of these uh, uh, structures, uh, workmanship quality of materials, all these issues uh, face uh, <coughs> the problem to the durability. So, we have to maintain the durability in concern with the quality control and quality assurance. Whatever we uh, discuss uh, in previous slides is all about the quality control and quality assurance uh, <coughs> importance in structural health monitoring. If we maintain the quality during the execution, it is possible to maintain the building throughout its lifespan. Thank you.